Good morning. Good morning, my Periscope friends. Uh, <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Scotty. How are you? I'm Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Designs. And I am scoping today for LDCC Saturday Art Block. All day here on Periscope, you can search hashtag Art Block and you will find a whole lineup of artists. We are here all day long. We are starting here with me at 9 and going all the way down to 1 a.m. There's Deb. I just saw she still had power. Deb's down there in Florida. She's surviving it. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks, Deb. Good to see you. And um, Deb's our creator and founder of Little Deb's Creative Crew. And if you're an artist or an art appreciator, um, and we're talking visual or musical art, look us up. <laughs> look us up on social media and um, follow, join, be a part of the crew. Thank you. So I'm going to work on this little puppy. Oh. I'm going to work on this puppy. This is a American, American Staffordshire Terrier. Thank you. I have to try to remember these dog breeds. So the challenge with this puppy, I just took a stock photo because I'm just practicing. So they're very muscular. You can see um, they don't have a lot of fur. It's mostly like that real thin, flat um, fur right on top of their skin. So you can see a lot of their body structure. And uh, to top it all off, he's a brindle. A brindle is when you have this mix of colors in here where it's like beige and black and brown and they're all over and um, yeah basically it's there's no defining sort of color it's kind of a whole big bag of mix of color and it, that's called a brindle <laughs> hi Rudy good morning so yeah does she so cute so uh Hopefully my music doesn't turn anybody off today. I needed some relaxing music. Um, some of you guys who follow me might know I have a pretty, I get, I have an anxiety disorder and I just woke up like taking off anxiety today. So I needed um, some little chill out music and hopefully getting my head into the drawing here will help me get out of this because it really sucks. I'm sorry about my, but it really sucks when you just wake up like this in the morning and there's no reason for it there's really nothing going on it's just wake up and feel uh, it sucks so I'm gonna draw because usually it is my art therapy and all I have to do is redirect my stupid brain and it should be okay <laughs> hopefully because I can deal I can deal with me being kind of messed up. I know it's going to change or I can hop into bed and, you know, watch TV and what bothers me is when um it bothers my family. So, you know. So I just try it out and chill. All right. So, I've already been working on this eye. I'll bring it in here and he needs a little more depth and things that will be going on in here but I want to start carrying it over to the other eye and um, so I can even it out the other trick I've learned from my friend Jan who is also here on Periscope is this little palette trick so when I use these colors I'm popping them over here so I could just color sample them and get the exact colors I used instead of trying to figure it out and um, just kind of being a crapshoot. So I was like, oh, that was a handy dandy little lesson I got from watching Periscope. 
All right. So we're gonna zoom into this eyeball a little bit here. And I wanna get a nice little and so this is a digital oil painting. What I'm using is a brush called a real wet oil, and it's a wet blender brush. And what that does is this paint will blend in with the paint that I underpainted it with already. And kind of, kind of hopefully, you see how it starts dark? Watch, watch right where that circle is. And as soon as I start painting, I stop painting, it fades in. That's what this brush does. So the harder or longer I paint, the more paint gets on there. And then it'll naturally start blending in for me and um, create a lot of the shading. And then I just build up layers. So I'm on our races right here. My eyes are on a different layer. Yeah, it is cool. It's a very cool brush. Um, it makes it react a lot like real paint. Uh, like if I was painting on, um, you know, wet oils and they're still wet, they're going to start blending together and create new shades. And so that brush uh, really helps create the uh, effect of painting. This brush right here that I'm using now is just a detail brush. This brush will not blend. See how it stays like that? So that helps me get some nice sharp details. Which I just wanted a nice sharp, nice line here for his um, eye on the top. Because as we all know, the eyes are the most important part of a portrait. Hi Tom, how are you? Look at, we have 15 people here this morning. You guys are the best. I'm so happy right now. And I really, really needed it this morning. Thank you for joining everybody. We're here for the art block today. And if you like art, please share and with um, your followers and support the artist. And um, we have a whole day of some great uh, entertainment. Because everybody here would love to share their talent with you, including Tom down there. Tom, I can see you, but everybody else can't see you. Put up emojis and tell people um, what time are you on today and what you might be doing. Hi, Susan. So Tom is one of our, uh, there he is, Tom's one of our uh, original steadfast art blockers, a big part of our little crew here, and one of the nicest people on social media, so give him a follow if you're not already following him. <laughs> there you go. And he's really, really good. <laughs> and right now he's like, oh, duh. And you know it's true, so stop. No modesty. <laughs> I'm only telling the truth. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of this color in here. Yeah, it's a little earlier for you, too. I, I woke up late. I woke up late, too. It's just one of those days. One of those days. So I really appreciate it. And it's early for my friend Scotty, too. So that just warms my heart when I know it's early for you guys. <laughs> I am on early because uh, being one of the administrators of the crew... Take one for the team. Nobody really wants to be the first person up because you have to establish, yes, you have to establish the people being here. You're not getting anybody um, 
I don't have anybody on before me to send people to, to this broadcast, so that's why I appreciate you guys all being here and sharing it. And, uh... <laughs> so, you know... Take one for the team. I'll be first. Plus, it helps me get stuff out of the way so I can move on with my day. I have a busy family. <laughs> the weekends aren't always easy for me to have time to just... That I can consistently say I'm going to be home. Or I'll know I'll be home at this time. Even if I have something going on, I'm, I'm home at this time. Because <laughs> everybody else is still not up. Yes, follow the art block all day. Like I said, you know, just pop in and... Alright, so I'm establishing still some undercolors here. And this is my roadmap. So the roadmap just kind of tells me where different um, bone structures on this face and maybe different shadows or the hair direction. And then I prefer to paint without it after I sort of lay out a little bit. And yes, I he does not have pink hair, but he has pink skin. And so I throw in a little bit of pink hair so you will see his um, the skin beneath there. And then all it is is a bunch of millions of strokes. There's Charles. Hi, Charles. Charles is an awesome friend. He shows up most, almost every Saturday. <laughs> Sometimes he's sleeping because he's in California, so it's really early. So I appreciate it. And um, I hope everybody knows. I do not take I do not take my art people for granted, that's for sure. Hi, welcome. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so the hardest part really is this little transition by his eye because you have part of the hair is going up and then right here it starts to curve out and go down and you don't want it to make it look like a hot mess but you need to get this little transition swirl in there a little bit. And then so I slowly just kind of radiate out, slowly blending shades in and going back and forth, back and forth, blending it in. And the good thing is, is that I do it so much that I don't really have to think about every brush stroke anymore. <laughs> so once I get into like a little bit of a groove and I have stuff laid out, I just kind of can sit here and chat and listen to the music and um, I just thought, just... My hands like automatically just do, 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 do. so I have to start building up a little bit of this little brindley color. And we'll put underneath. Hello. So I'm very happy because I have family in Florida too and Deb is in Florida that at least as of now, I'm still not going to totally say, but um, it doesn't seem like the hurricane is as bad as people were worrying it was going to be. Um, so that's good. It's probably had my anxiety on edge a little bit because um, I have, well, my aunt and my uncle went to their son's house in Georgia 
for the weekend and stuff at least. And my cousin, two of my cousins are still down there with their families. So... I should have should have shown pictures of my one cousin's house though. She must have been bored yesterday <laughs> because after they had their house all shuttered up and she was shopping and I guess there was really you know who know you know what she, what are you gonna do? They were saving their energy so they weren't on their phones or their tablets. And um, she went outside and she painted all the shutter boards on her house. <laughs> She has flowers and little, like, signs saying, Go away, Irma, and, uh, I don't know, she was just having fun with it, I guess. So, it's it was kind of funny, and she posted pictures. I go, oh my gosh, your house just looks like one of those crazy ones. Hi, Susan. <laughs> hey, at least she wasn't, at least she didn't start, like, uh, writing on the my cousin in Florida. At least she didn't start writing like how many people were alive or like in her house so they would know. I'm just like, oh my god, you're crazy girl. But they've lived in Florida their whole life, so they've seen hurricanes. And they people who live there all the time, like they they don't they don't really like freak out about leaving as much because it's, a lot of times it ends up not being a whole big thing. Yeah. So And my cousin's, my cousin's husband's a physician assistant, so he was mandated to stay in case they needed medic medical people. And they didn't, her rest of the family didn't want to go without him, I guess. Then I have another friend who went to the store. <laughs> he lives down there. He's from Ohio, though, but he lives down there now. And he went to the store to get a generator. And he said it was. He waited in line for three hours to buy a generator. He got one though, but yeah, that's a long time to stand in line at the store. <laughs> So as much as I like the weather in Florida, yeah, as much as I like the weather in Florida, I'm kind of glad I don't ever have to, um, I have to deal with that. I get snow, though. I have to deal with snow and ice, I guess. Alright. You guys with that poop nut thing. Who even came up with that? That's hilarious. I don't know. Poop nut. Never even heard that word until you guys. You're at work. You're at work. Don't get in trouble then. Alright, so now we're going to start. So these brindles have a little bit of this color everywhere. It's like little dots of black, little dots of white throughout the whole body it's just uh, um, different concentrations of them in different places so that's why it takes a little bit and it is a challenge to get the right blend it's not like I could just go in and say oh this is gonna be really brown I have to make it just this right mix and then on top of it I need to make sure I have the shadows and highlights to create the form so yeah, it's a whole process but for some crazy reason I love it <laughs> it's 
all good in the hood. Okay. So I am doing just really light random pieces of flux of light and camera actually helps because I like looking to see where it's at. Alright. So this nose is actually even more of a deal because I need to make it start popping out to give it the dimension and it has a super like have you ever pet a dog's nose and like the yeah it's, it's a, it is it's a Staffordshire yay it looks like what it's supposed to <laughs> makes me so happy when somebody recognizes it ah <laughs> uh, yay It means I'm on the right track. <laughs> means I'm on the right track. So he's going to be sitting there. There's the picture when I'm done. He's very cute. And I like to smile. Hi, how are you? Thanks for joining. Yeah, that's just how his ears are, though. This guy's ears are a little... So, maybe he has a little bit of a mix. I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know his name. <laughs> this is just practice. Um, it's just a stock photo. I could, huh? I could do whatever I wanted, right? This is just, I'm just practicing right now. So this is um, not somebody's commission at the po this point. It's just a stock photo. See it? It's just a photo to practice. His name's Tony. Okay, Tony. Yo, Tony. Anthony. What's up? <laughs> or poop nut I swear Susan, Susan's next pet if you ever get a new pet you have to name it poop nut I'm just telling you right now what do you think Susan <laughs> poop nut So they have this really thin, brindly hair, so it's just a ton of little brush strokes, very lightly, because I want them to be out. Okay, love, oh, there you heard it, you heard it, Charles. <laughs> Next pet's going to be Poop Nut. <laughs> you can hear her outside. Come here, Poop Nut. Did you take Photoshop? I don't know anything about Photoshop. Hi, sweet dreams. This isn't Photoshop. So I do not know too much about Photoshop. I maybe know a little basics of like Cutting, pasting, lassoing, or something that I've used for the things. This program I'm using is called Corel Painter. Um, this is Corel Painter 2018. And it is very much like painting. So right now I'm using a very fine um, real wet oil brush. 
and the paints will react like an oil brush. Um, let me do a quick demo. I could do a quick demo. Let's zoom in here. So what happens is when I paint and load my brush and then when I'm done it starts soaking into the paper. So then if I come with another color and I paint it, it'll keep soaking in and I have to build up layers just like if I was painting. And you can see the splotches because I'm very close up. See those different splotches? So it acts like bristles to give you uneven and it'll just build up. So that's how it acts like real paint. And then I can come along with this blender and act like a little bit of water and just kind of touch water to it. Thank you. So what website? What are you talking about? What website? For Corel Painter? Um, I don't know. There, what, am I www.corelpainter maybe? Yeah. Corel, C-O-R-E-L. C-O-R-E-L. There it is. C-O-R-E-L. Painter. It's like having a whole art store at your fingertips. Yes, that's correct. Yes. And so it's like having a whole art store at your fingertips because you just kind of pick your medium, pick your brushes, what, how, you know, and has different, each brush has like different, um, attributes like they'll act differently and you have stuff you, you I mean you could get very complicated and like set all sorts of settings which I don't even understand because I did not go to school for this <laughs> and this program probably does so much that I don't even know but it'd be just like painting pretty much I need to get this part of the nose where it comes down and changes the color just right. So I get the right size of his nosy. You can already see the eye sort of just slowly developing. And that's my favorite part actually. My favorite part is when I'm like just drawing. And all of a sudden I look up and this face is coming out of the, the face is coming out of the, um, <laughs> page for me. I don't even notice it until all of a sudden it's there and I'm like, oh, there he is. Corel Painter's 29 bucks? If you could get Corel Painter... If you could get Corel Painter for $29, then that, that's a heck of a deal. I don't know where that would be. What version? What version? Because this is 2018, and I think this program, I have a student version. I have a st Hi, Karen. I have a student version, and it cost me $100, and I think normally it's a $400 program. So... If you find it, yes, if you find it for $29, I would jump on it and buy it because that's a steal and a half. <laughs> if it's a legitimate registered, registered um, version, yeah, that would be a great steal. So how are you doing? 
My friend, Karen, I'm so happy to see you today. I'm sure she's going to be busy. Busy, busy. She's always busy. <laughs> Living the dream. Thanks. I'm just practicing. Karen does fashion illustrations. I don't know. Karen, do you ever even, do you broadcast on Periscope anymore? Do you come on Periscope? Or are you mostly just on Instagram now? No, it's not. Thanks. Yeah, this is just practice. Aw, that's a shame. You're so good. So, I've learned so much from Karen, and she's inspired my love for, like, fashion illustration. I'm not even a fashion person, because I would never spend money like that on these clothes. But <laughs> I have fallen in love with drawing them. And mostly because of her, really. It's true. Have you seen, did you see, I did a lady in red. Did you see it yet? Have you seen that post? It made me think of your lady in red that um, Nick, Nick took and put the words to it, but... I know, right? Time goes really fast here on the art block. Aw. Here, I'll show you really quick. I'm going to show Karen because she's here. I love it. Let's see. Come on, desktop. Finished. This is the latest one. I just finished it yesterday and I'm in love with it. <gasps> in Canadian? Oh. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's done. Oh, dang. You missed the raft. Painter, artist, particle shop. Okay, the particle shop, you need to make sure that that's, I think that's a brush pack. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think that's the actual program. I think that is a brush pack. Just so you look to read the details. Because after you buy the program, thanks, after you buy the program, Red was really challenging. I'm going to tell you right now, Red was really challenging, and I picked her because I have not done an Asian face, so I really like the Asian face, but like just the, the flow of Red, and to try to get the darks and lights without it looking um, liney with Red was kind of hard. But it was fun, yeah. And you don't you, you don't think about it until you get in there. And like, if you get the wrong shade, if you have the wrong shade of red, or you put a different shade of red, yeah. And I think that's a brush pack for twenty nine bucks. But if you get the wrong shade of red, it it can just change like the whole the whole thing. Thanks. So that, that's the part, like you get, if it's too pink, like if you start with one red and then you put something in that's too pink or too dark, yeah, and you want to get the highlight, but you don't want it to be like white, and you want to get a shadow, but you don't want to have it to be black, I really, you know, it was just like, uh, but that's why I picked it, <laughs> that's why I picked to practice it, because it was a challenge. Just like this nice little brindle. Yeah, I'm gonna practice that because guess what? It's a challenge. I guess I like torturing myself. I don't know. <laughs> All right. 
Jasmine. So with the highlights and shadows, we just start developing the structure of his head. And these dogs have very muscular, bony heads. It does, kind of, right? I love it. As I shop at Walmart and I think about beautiful Giovanni dresses <laughs> that I'll never, that if I saw the price tag, I would have a heart attack. Do people really spend that much money on clothes? Well, yes, they do. As I said, <laughs> Well, you know where I am. You know how to find me, girls. If you want it for Christmas, just make sure you give me enough time. I already I have a couple coming up for Christmas time that I'm waiting for people to finalize it. Yeah, he is almost smiling. His when he's done, it will look more look sort of like a smile. They are, aren't they? The brindles are more expensive. Yeah. I'm not sure why. Um, well, shh, don't tell everybody, Karen. Don't tell everybody. But because it's you, I will fit you in. I need at least, like, probably at least three weeks before you really want it, to be sure. But it's a little bit of a process. So the tips I'm going to give you right now, the tips I will give you is take some pictures and try to get some in good light so I can get the right color. Take um, if he, a little position that's cute and a good face picture and you can just start sending me photos. I'll help you pick one. Don't worry about it. That's what I usually do. Just send me, you know, send me 10 photos, 15 photos. Good morning, Jean. Thanks for stopping in. And I'll, I'll help put together a composition. Once I have a composition that we like and we, be, we agree on, then I just go from there. Oh, I got all professional though, Karen. Man, I have, I have a, uh, I have a commission agreement, and I have a whole process now. <laughs> yeah, just take a bunch, and I just kind of look at all of them as a whole and um, try to put something together. But I like a good face shot, so I can kind of capture. You know, but you have to you have to keep in mind you're an artist, so you would know. I, do, I have never met this dog. I don't know this dog. I don't know its own its personality. So all I have to go on are the photos that I'll get from you. And a good reference photo when it comes to a pet portrait can mean the world, because I have done some portraits from not so great photos, and I mean they come out looking like a good dog, but I always worry that it doesn't look like their dog. So the better photos I have, the more it will look like your specific puppy and not just um, your breed of dog. Because he... No, it, it needs to be a still personality. Alright. And he's all black, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's all black. So I'm already picturing. He's going to have some purple in there. I'm already thinking. <laughs> I'm already thinking about. And I'll tell you right now, I don't know if I've, I haven't painted any all black pets yet. So it would be my first. 
so getting the bone structure for all black would be the one that that would and the highlights right he probably is puppies are a handful you have to to remind yourself of the end goal <laughs> When we had, when we got Coco, everybody in the house was so annoyed by her. And I'm like, you guys, she's just a baby. You have to remember, she's a baby. Okay, so I'm trying to darken this slowly to get the, the shadow for the side of the face. So instead of looking flat, it's going to start curving, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> well, you guys start spending time with him and training him. Is he cage trained at all? Cage training was a godsend for potty training. I'm just gonna say. I need this tint of the brown. <laughs> so they let you do all the hard work, typical, right? You just have to remember, puppies, you know, puppies aim, they, dogs aim to please, so positive reinforcement goes a long way. Thank you. Yeah, positive reinforcement goes a long way. Um, so if they do something you want them to do and you make a big deal about it and you get them all excited, then they'll remember that and want to do it again. It's just like a little kid who tells you like that a one a knock knock joke or says something that's funny. Yeah. Says something that's funny and you laugh and then you hear that same joke like twenty million times because they just want to make you laugh again. You know. I know I love dogs too. I have two. And then the cage training for when you're leaving really helps because they naturally will not um, they won't actually, they won't go where they sleep, per se. <laughs> They're not going to go, they don't go to the bathroom where they sleep. So, unless, you know, they can't hold it anymore. So, if you put them in a cage when you're leaving, that's not too big, but not too small, but not too big. They'll tend to learn to hold it. But I have a stubborn four-year-old and a one-year-old. Oh, well, great. And you're better than me because guess what? I don't speak any French. Maybe some weird French. What, what, what do I know? We. Oui. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did too. I did it early until they show, you know... And then what's the other rule of thumb? The other rule of thumb is they can only hold, they can only hold it for like an hour for each month up to like eight hours. Like he's a bigger dog, but I don't know. Yeah, a lot of work. Puppies are a lot of work, but when you train them to be a part of your house and they're there, it's worth it. Thanks for joining. I'm just kind of picking away at this dog's face, slowly bringing him into focus. <laughs> it's kind of like how I like to think of it too. It's like a little bit of an out of focus photo and I'm just slowly clearing it up. <laughs> yeah. OK, 
Get you there. Thank you. So I want that little tone of under color. Oh, thanks. <laughs> did you see what, did you see, you saw what the hubs did. Did you see it on Facebook? Did you see what my husband did? He's a gem. Thank you. Every artist loves to hear that, so I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling it. Some someday. Are you 52? I, I'm feeling it some days, man. <laughs> I hate it. I don't like feeling old. I don't like it. But my husband did a really good job of um, making f turning 50 fun, not letting me concentrate on being old. So he was awesome. I'll keep him around for a little. Yeah, I'll keep him around for a little. I had no idea. That was the fun part. I had absolutely no idea. You draw a wolf and a dragon? I am drawing, I am drawing a dragon, kind of. <laughs> Another sidetrack here, right? Where is it? I am drawing. I'm drawing a bearded dragon. <laughs> I'm in the process of finishing up this bearded dragon. Much smaller than a real dragon, but it's a dragon. <laughs> it's a dragon. So like these highlights on the Staffordshire are really important because that's how we um, can see the structure of this head. And so they're driving me a little crazy. But I'm more stubborn. I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it. So where he has like a bony structure on his head, it needs to be a little lighter because the light is going to hit off of that. But I don't want it to be white, so I have to hit it very lightly and have it blend in here. So next time you see a brindle dog, take a second and um, really look at the colors. <laughs> you look in there and you see the mix of colors. Angel dragon. So even though it doesn't look white, you have like all these slight blended colors going on and they almost have some black and white everywhere. It's just that some of it's really little and some of it's a lot, but it's all mixed up. It's not very, um, I can't even tell what's the word I'm looking for. It's not concentrated too much. You're 12, is that what you're saying? You're 12 years old? Well, if you're 12 years old and you're appreciating art, then you're way ahead of the game and I applaud you. I try to encourage, 
I try to encourage the appreciation. I think um, with TV and video games and things, sometimes it's hard. I do too. I want to sing it. It always makes me cry. But I'm not going to like hurt your guys' ears by singing it. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's so sad though. The words are so sad. soon I'm going to do these ears and I'll, I need to get the inside of the ears done before I finish the hair around it and when once I finish the hair around the ears it'll help bring that face forward too but he has his eye socket that I'm trying to um, get in right now So the trick is you want to have a shadow, but you don't want it to be dark. You want to still have it look like the same color of the dog, but it's just a shadowed part. So I tend to start light and then slowly build in the darks later. I need my sketch for a second. Okay. She was actually on here. She still has power. Deb still has power. She's alright so far. Um, hopefully it will all end up just being a bad storm for her. I think it I think it ended up um, going to the west a little bit. And she's on the east coast, like my cousin. Um, Juba Jade is up in five minutes and so I'm sure if you head over to Jade's scope in five minutes after this I'm gonna show the info in a minute you guys um, you'll be able to see her because she'll probably pop in to promote it so Alright guys, so in the hour I got this eye sh <laughs> this eye shaded. It's coming along. Let's take a final step back and see where it's at. And Scotty, thanks for being here the whole time. And guess what? It worked. The music and drawing makes me feel better. <sighs> so from sitting back, I can see I need to make the top part of this eye a little darker, like this one to help give it some dynamic but I mean that's you know what happens when you step back and then we're gonna end up going full body so yes I love torturing myself so it'll be a little while you might see this one for a while <laughs> but when it's done it's gonna be really cute and so today I am broadcasting for LDCC's Saturday art block all day today look up hashtag art block here on Periscope and you'll be able to see our Broadcast we have a full day a full day a full day of people. We're going all the way to 1 a.m So there's art all day Lovely different talent next up is Jade Juba Jade I'm sure she's painting something she does watercolors and acrylics and things I believe I believe 
And if you like art, look up Little Dub's Creative Crew on social media and follow us. We'd love to get to know you better. Show the support. And if you like what you saw here today, I'd appreciate any follows that you could give me. Follows and shares and all that good stuff. (laughs) I really appreciate it. I have like three minutes, guys. I don't even know what to do. I thought that I thought it was gonna go really fast, and then all of a sudden, nothing. Oh, Melissa came in at the end. Almost done. We're gonna be heading over to Jade in a minute. I'll show you what I was working on. I was walking on this today. Susan's at work. Oh, that's okay. I know, I'm on early, but that's what's great about Periscope. There's always um, replays, and I love um, the replays because when I don't have a lot of time, I can still pop in and see what people are up to, but fast forward a little bit. (laughs) So, feel free. Yeah. It's hard sometimes, right? It's hard. But I'll be broadcasting a lot more because this is what I'm going to be doing now. I can't. This is going to be my job. Hopefully. So share me out. (laughs) Thanks. It's just practice. Two minutes until Jade is on. Unless she's on already. I can't tell because... I have to turn my notifications off. They're driving me nuts, literally. So I just see who's on when they're on because I couldn't handle it. (laughs) All those beep, 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 beep. My notifications are going off like crazy. I am going to be watching some of the art block today while I pick away on this face or Lizardo. I'm not sure. It might be Lizardo because I really kind of need to finish him. I'm getting to the point where I've worked on him long enough. He needs to just be done. So, if you follow me on um, any other social media, not a live stream one, like on Instagram or my Facebook... You'll get to see everything that I've finished because I post it all and share it about a million times. Alright. Yeah, that looks better. So here's his little face. And I'm sort of working on his little portrait of it. (laughs) And it's 10 o'clock, guys, so... Let's go over and see if Jade's there. If you follow me here on Periscope, I will share it out so you guys can follow too. Thanks for spending the morning with me. I really appreciate it. 